This video is sponsored by Shoshi's Minis. Miniature painting can feel like a relentless race. In a world where everyone is looking for the quickest path to achieving their goals, the lure of the latest Kickstarter, limited releases, and revolutionary tools assured to change the painting game forever, it often feels like the hobby is more focused on getting painting over with than on the act of actually painting. And you know what? That can be a really bad thing. Today, I'm painting this great model from Shoshi's Minis, and let's discuss how you might accidentally be undermining your enjoyment of the hobby, and most importantly, how to fix it. 1. The speed painting mentality can make your hobby feel like a chore. Assumedly, miniature painting is your hobby, or at least a hopefully enjoyable part of the hobby of miniature games. If not, Hi! I'm not sure why you're here, but I'm so happy to have you. If you're interested in miniature painting, this is a great place to start. And as such, this is supposed to be fun. Or at the very least, not awful. The stress that comes with rushing through your painting process can wear you down. And this not only affects your painting, but also your gaming experience and overall well-being. Don't worry, the solution isn't to stop speed painting. It's just to change how you approach speed painting. It's about finding ways to infuse your joy back into your creative process. Maybe that means removing self-imposed time constraints, choosing colors that really resonate with you, or enjoying a favorite movie or podcast while you paint. While it's undeniably satisfying to have your models ready for gaming in record time, it's equally important to cherish the journey of how you got there. After all, the path you take in this hobby can significantly impact your overall enjoyment and the longevity of your passion. So it's not speed painting itself that ruins your hobby, but the mentality that can set you up for failure. 2. Speed painting makes learning harder. When your primary goal is speed, there's often little room for learning. Learning something new invariably comes with the specter of failure, and failure can mean lost time. With your focus solely on completing a model quickly, any time loss can add stress to the equation. However, it's essential to recognize that these mistakes are the building blocks of becoming a better painter. Failure isn't a setback. It's a sign of progress. If you're not encountering failures, you're not pushing your boundaries and expanding your skills. Think about it. Every time you falter, you're discovering a new way not to do something. Whether it's understanding the correct brush loading technique, perfecting the art of painting eyes, or achieving the ideal consistency for glazing, each mistake paves the way for improvement. This challenge becomes compounded when you consider that you could be taking this time to learn techniques that would overall make you a faster miniature painter. Techniques like wet blending and airbrushing can help you create stunning miniatures more efficiently, but they require dedicated practice and patience to master. Accept the fact that learning is a gradual process. Allocate specific time for learning new techniques and come to terms with the idea that failure is an integral part of the journey towards mastery. By doing so, you'll not only become a more versatile painter, but also open up new avenues for faster and more efficient miniature painting. Remember, patience and practice are the key to mastering miniature painting. Let's take a minute to talk about this week's sponsor, Shoshi's Minis. This model is Cat Daddy, a half-orc with a dad bod and two kittens. The focus of Shoshi's Minis is to break traditional fantasy tropes and show a different side of masculinity. These miniatures are 54 inches, come beautifully cast, and have gorgeous detail. And honestly, it was refreshing to paint something so unexpected and different. The pre-order for this model will only be open for four days, starting Thursday, September 28th at 12 p.m. CST until Sunday, October 1st at 12 p.m. 
If you like painting unique models, supporting indie creators, and want to see more diversity in the hobby at large, then I highly recommend giving Shoshi's minis a look. Thanks so much, Shoshi. This was a joy to paint. Back to painting. Three, speed painting stifles the creative spark. To make speed painting effective, it must follow a predictable formula. Unfortunately, predictability is the opposite of creativity. The realm of miniature painting has so many creative opportunities, from experimenting with colors, or textures, or exploring saturation and beyond. Many invaluable skills and insights can only be gained through daring experimentation. My personal favorites of green to purple and magenta to yellow were discovered with just playing with paints. Yet they have become absolute staples in my miniature painting. But the thing is, I encountered so many failures along the way. Remember, creativity flourishes through trial and error. So don't let the time constraints of speed painting limit your exploration. If you want to be creative faster, which I totally relate to, look at artists online who you really enjoy and try to analyze why you like their miniatures. Is it their use of saturation or intensity of color, light and shadow, or a limited color palette? You don't have to be creative alone. So find artists you like, examine their work, and copy their work. No matter what, creativity can't be rushed. But once you've learned new techniques or skills or color schemes through your creativity, it will actually help you paint faster. Four, sometimes it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. In the realm of hobbies, it's crucial to remember that the true value doesn't solely reside in the end result. It's the entire process of creation that holds significance. For example, I love glazing. I'll put on some soothing music, set up my palette, and before I know it, hours have drifted by unnoticed. And you know what? That's absolutely fantastic. For me, the amount of time I have invested isn't the primary concern. What truly matters is whether I'm content with what I've achieved in the end. Taking the time to savor each brushstroke and immerse myself in the artistic process is where I find the enjoyment of my hobby. While I love having a completed miniature at the end, what I really savor is looking at the model and seeing my creativity, the new skills that I've learned, thinking about how much fun I had in the painting process overall. Sure, at the end of speed painting, you might have a finished miniature, but at what cost? All right, that's it from me. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Go join me on Patreon for exclusive monthly content, as well as feedback from me and my wonderful community. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.